Hi, I'm Audrey, the host of My Tar Heel Adventures. Every Friday, we visit a new city in North Carolina to give you an inside peek at our beautiful state. We also visit a recent customer of our number one sponsor, Gator Metal Roofing. Join me as I explore the Tar Heel State on My Tar Heel Adventures. Our first stop today is at the Wilson Arts Center. Hi guys, we're here with Kathy Hardison, the Executive Director of the Wilson Arts. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the Wilson Arts and um, what you have going on? Our organization is one of the oldest arts councils in the state, and we have been serving Wilson County since 1967. But we have an amazing exhibit up right now by a Greenville artist, uh, June Vasconcelos. He is a painter. He uses a lot of bright colors and symbolism such as hearts and birds and flowers. His craftsmanship is absolutely excellent and his artwork is so bright and happy. The name of the exhibit is called Joy Hearts Color Chaos. Do you have any other upcoming events that we may want to come to or know about? Definitely. We're really excited about the Truist Event Gallery. It's a flexible space. We're able to design the artwork around the artist and the exhibits around the artist. We're constantly able to change it up. Uh, we rotate out our exhibits about every six weeks or so. So we've got um, our national jury show coming up. We've got an artist from Atlanta, Georgia, Kyle Brooks, who's coming to exhibit in September. So lots of exciting things. There's always a route to, for anybody to connect to the arts. It sounds like it. There are so many amazing events coming up here, guys, so you definitely want to stay tuned. So what are your hours and uh, where can we find you on social media? So we're open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Wilson Arts NC. The facility is available for rentals. All the walls are, are movable and flexible and we've had lots of really great events in here as well from weddings to conferences to uh, our openings, performances. We have a gift shop here that's all local and regional artists. Um, there's paintings, pottery, uh, we've got cards, textiles artists, bookmakers. So it's a great spot to stop and, and shop local and get something that is completely unique and made by a local artist. Thank you so much, Kathy. Thank you. Let's check out Wilson's number one attraction, the Whirligig Park. Hi guys, we're here with Miss Susan Kellum, the Marketing and Communications Coordinator for the City of Wilson. Miss Kellum, can you tell us about the Whirligig Park? About 12 years ago, we were looking for a tool to help uh, revitalize our downtown. We don't have a natural draw such as mountains or water, so we had to create our own. Well, we were very lucky in that we had about 11 miles outside of Wilson, um, out in Lucama in the county, uh, a gentleman who had created all these wonderful whirly gigs, and he had done them for his own creative enjoyment and to keep him busy after he retired. They have hundreds of thousands of reflectors on them also, so you get a completely different experience in the evening than you do in the daytime as we're seeing here. When you used to come around the corner out in the, in the county, people's headlights would hit the reflectors and they would think that aliens had landed or that there was a carnival out in the country because it was so unexpected and so unusual. That is incredible, and this is such an amazing park in downtown Wilson. So how long has this been here? It was about a seven year process to renovate them and move them 11 miles from the farm here to the park, which opened in November of 2017. And since then, it has really been our community living room. Uh, most of the time you will see kids out here playing soccer on the, on the green. We have a couple of concert series out here, a spring and a fall series. We, over the last two years during COVID, where we couldn't have our traditional events, we had uh, something called Electric Light Fantasy, which was a drive-in laser show. And the lasers were synchronized to holiday music. 
So that's been a lot of fun and we'll bring, be bringing that back this year also. And so one last question, Ms. Kellum, where can we find more information about the Whirligig Park and the community events? If you're looking for events, one of the best places is explorewilson.com. All of our partners who have events in the Wilson County area can put their events on there for free, so it's a great clearinghouse. The other place is historicdowntownwilson.com website and the Wilson Whirligig Park website. Uh, specifically, and then social media for the Whirly Gig Park and Historic Downtown Wilson, both on Facebook and Instagram. Let's grab a bite to eat at Ruckus and Redemption. Hi guys, we're here with Molly Youssef, the co-owner with her husband of Ruckus and Redemption. So a little bit about Ruckus, how long have you guys been open? We opened in early 2020, so about two and a half years. We specialize in burgers and cocktails. Um, my favorite cocktail is named after one of the Whirly Gigs. It's called the Gunshot Bicycle Man, um, which is the name of one of the Whirly Gigs. We have a small menu. Um, we try to really highlight the things that we do well. So we've got some burgers, the seasoned fries, um, our fried Brussels sprouts are very popular. My favorite burger is our classic. Wow, that sounds so delicious. So you have vegan and vegetarian options. You have um, options for everyone. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, we offer a Beyond Burger. Um, so for anyone trying to avoid red meat, and we also have a lot of people who will do their burger without a bun so that it can be gluten-free. So about the cocktail, the Whirly Gig cocktail, can you tell us what's in this cocktail? The Gunshot Bicycle Man has chai tea infused gin, passion fruit, cinnamon syrup, and tonic. So it's kind of a fancy gin and tonic. Wow, that sounds so delicious. I'll definitely have to try it before I leave today. But I've had some burgers and some fries and it was just so delicious. So if you guys are in downtown Wilson and you're visiting the Whirly Gig Park, you have to stop by Ruckus. So what are your hours and where can we find you online? Yeah, we're open Tuesday through Sunday. Sunday is brunch, um, so that's a little different menu, but also something to check out. Um, and you can find us online at Ruckus and Redemption or on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. <laughs> well, thank you so much today, Molly, for having us in your restaurant. The food was amazing. The atmosphere is amazing. And this has just made our trip here in Wilson just so much more memorable. So thank you so much. Thanks for coming to Wilson. Let's check out some of Wilson's outdoor entertainment starting at Lake Wilson Park. Hi guys, we're here with Mr. David Lee who is the director of Wilson's Parks and Rec. Can you tell us a little bit about Lake Wilson? It's a 130 acre park. It's about 90 acres of water. Um, we renovated it about four years ago. Uh, it used to be a park that you know, was kind of low profile in town. Uh, a lot of fishing going on out here and stuff like that. And um, about four years ago, we put in a bridge in the back of the park and it uh, connected the walking trail. So all of a sudden we had a lot more walkers, a lot more activities. It's two, 300 walkers a day out here at least. I mean, it's just been a great addition to our uh, park facilities. But it's just a lot of exercise and a lot of uh, natural parks and recreation. You see a lot of families, uh, a lot of the uh, senior citizens enjoy the walk. They get a lot of exercise, and uh, it's just been it's been a, it's been a really good thing for our town. Sounds great. Where can we find you guys at online? Um, well, we're obviously on Facebook. It's Wilson Parks and Recreation. Uh, we're also on Instagram and S Snapchat, so you can catch up. We do a, we do a good job of uh, taking pictures of our activities and our different facilities and posting them on there. So you manage all of the parks here. Are there any other parks or any attractions that we should see that you would recommend? Well, while you guys are here, um, the one that we're very, very proud of, um, and we've done a lot of work and the community supports a lot, is the Gillette Athletic Complex. I think you'd really be impressed with it. Sounds good. All right, guys, we're going to head over to Gillette Park in Wilson, North Carolina. Can you tell us a little bit about Gillette Park? It's a 132-acre park. Um, we've got eight soccer fields. Uh, two of them are artificial turf. We've got an all-children's playground that is accessible to all kids that we're really proud of. And right now we're standing to the entrance of uh, the uh, baseball complex in Southern Bank Stadium, which we've been open about 14 years now. And it's a great family atmosphere. Uh, we're really proud of uh, what it's brought to the community. 
and um, this is just a big showcase for us. We have a lot of outside tournaments come in, um, both soccer and baseball. Wow, and this is a very beautiful park that's very well maintained and taken care of. Uh, what are your hours and uh, when is your next event? Yeah, the park hours in general are usually eight to nine. And we've had some big events. We've got a big soccer event coming in August and then uh, we start playing our own kids playing soccer. So it's, it's a nice balance between tourism and taking care of the Wilson folks. Our number one priority is always to take care of the Wilson folks, but our community is used to now that we have big events and, and that they understand you know, the value that brings to our community. Thank you so much for your time today, Mr. David Lee, and showing us around the Wilson Parks. These um, have been beautiful, well-maintained parks. So if you're ever in Wilson, North Carolina, definitely stop by the parks, come watch a game, have a picnic, just relax or take a walk around Lake Wilson. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we finished up with our adventures in Wilson, North Carolina for today. Let's go ahead and check in with a recent customer of our number one sponsor, Gator Metal Roofing. Hi guys, Audrey and Al here with our good friend Ashley, who is a recent customer of our number one sponsor, Gator Metal Roofing. And so what did you think about the installation process? How did everything go for you? Um, it went actually pretty great. Um, it was kind of in a fast pace, which I mean, that was really great. And they actually had like great, wonderful customer service. And overall, everything was like excellent. What made you decide to get a metal roof? Um, well, I knew that metal roofs last a little bit more than your traditional roofs, and it was more like kind of affordable than shingles. So how about your energy costs? Have you noticed a difference in your energy bill? Um, it's been way cheaper than how it usually be, so I mean, that's a plus as well. All right, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to chat with us today, Miss Ashley, and I am so glad that your Gator Metal Roof has been amazing for you thus far. Thank you so much, and me and Al want to wish you a great day. <laughs> I'd like to thank Gator Metal Roofing for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to sponsor our next adventure, see our contact information below. Thanks for watching the video. Click the like and subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications to keep up with all of our adventures.